and he called me a homo. He copied and pasted one of my videos, and he called me a homo in it, and you're just on his side. Why don't you just leave me alone? If you're going to call me a homo, then... I don't know what... I don't know what to say. I've tried recording this for a while in a lot of different ways, and I can't get it out in any way that doesn't sound like I'm overly sensitive or butthurt. So if it makes you feel better, I'll just say it. Right now, I'm a little bit butthurt. I'm a little bit triggered. I'm a little bit upset, and I'm... I'm, ha I'm, I'm having to talk about this. I've, d I've been on YouTube for a little over two years, and I've dealt with this a lot. And today, it blew up in my face, and it also started fe affecting some of my subscribers So uh, in the comments section. So you know what? I, I want to call out a, a type of player. Do you think that when people aren't good at games, their opinions don't matter? Do you think that you being good at a game makes you more reliable of a source. Do you think that you, being of a non-casual nature, puts you on some sort of pedestal? Do you shake your head when somebody with under a 2KD dares to have an opinion? When you're watching Battlefield gameplay and somebody forgets to revive their teammate, do you go to write an angry comment? Go fuck yourself. See, I will admit on my channel and in my daily life, I can be a bit of a petulant bitch. I will admit that. But there is nothing more petty and petulant than the comments that I've seen recently. And I don't care what kind of backlash this video gets. There have been people that stay on my channel just to critique me. Just to come and spread the word of skill gaps. Spread the word of true, consistently competitive metas. I've heard those words used in that order coming to me to inform me about how much skill whatever game I'm playing takes, as if I give a shit. You obviously don't have fun when you play your video games. No, 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 no. Doing well doesn't mean you're having fun. Just like, you know, having an opinion and not doing well means it doesn't matter, right? We can just make stuff like that up. So, tell you what, if you get to categorize me as a casual player who doesn't know what they're talking about, I get to categorize you as someone that's never had fun in a video game, has no friends, and is very insecure. Now, the question is, is somebody that's sharing their insecurities in a video more secure because they're willing to share them, or desperate? I don't know. I don't know what I'm getting out of this video other than peace of mind. But I'm not the best at first person shooters. Let me, let me lean in here, actually. I am not the best at any of my games. I have so many to play, and I have so much shit going on in my life, that being the best in Battlefield, or Call of Duty, or Halo, is irrelevant to me. You see, I can afford more than one game, and I enjoy a wide variety of them. So after I've played six hours of Rise, Son of Rome, and then I hop over to Battlefield for a quick gameplay, and you don't think it's quite up to snuff? I don't give a shit. I just don't. I play video games to have fun. I enjoy my video games. Because I play whatever I want, for as long as I want. That's it. I'm not obsessed with statistics. Numbers. I'm not obsessed with my own personal skill. I know I'm an asset to my team when I play. I can usually see myself on the top of a lobby leaderboard. Right up until I decide to goof off because it's not worth my time to lead for the fifth time in a row. Was that a brag? I'm so sorry. What kind of person brags on the internet about video game skill? It just seems douchey, right? Referring to people that have different opinions or differing ways of playing their video games as casuals, dumbasses, inexperienced people that don't know what they want. Well, I guess that's okay. So. Again, if I can't have an opinion because I'm not good, if my skill level in first-person shooters is not up to the standard that you have, fine. You want to categorize me, you want to dismiss me, you're about to get dismissed right back. No logic, nothing. Drawing simple conclusions. You're obsessed with a game, you don't have a life, you don't have a girlfriend, you don't have a family that loves you. I can just draw conclusions like that, right? You must not have anything to do during your day. Just get better at video games all day. 
making nothing out of it? So many of these uh, pro players, competitive players, technically correct Battlefield players don't even have a channel. So like what, you're just playing for the sake of beating other people? What a waste of fucking time. At least make some money off of it. You fucking waste. I am the one, the way your son don't need a gun. So there's my simple conclusion I get to draw from how I see you over the internet. And like my Twitter bio suggests, and rightfully so, if you cannot argue with me, categorize me. And I'm going to expand on that. If you can't explain yourself, if you can't explain things to me, simply categorize me. Hope you have a good day. Get back there and grind, dude. There's a war to win, and it's against casuals. People that really don't give a shit about their kill-death ratio. That war is not going to win itself. But, man, that war has a lot of losers in it. I am the one, the way your son don't need a gun to get respect up on the street. And copying and pasting my videos, and I will not have it! Got Stop calling me a homo, or you will be sorry, imbecile.